Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm sharing with you day eight of the 12 days of Christmas gift, I junk journal gift ideas that Rachel Reed and I are doing here on YouTube. And here's what I've got. I have some leftover bits from other projects, and one of those is a piece of this watercolor paper that it had a label on here, so when you tore it off, it tore up the paper and I have trimmed it to be an equal amount if you will so it's approximately a six inch piece of paper that's about three inches in height and then I've just folded it in half I've trimmed a piece out of an old dictionary I've got a piece of paper here some old graph paper this was just what was cut off of another project here's an altered paper clip that I've started that was the idea that Rachel Reed shared on her YouTube channel where she sandwiched the paper clip between two pieces of paper. So we'll get started here. I've also got a guest check. And the first thing I need to do is I need to trim this guest check so it can become a page in my journal. So I'm getting out my paper cutter here and I'm going to look at this and it needs to be about six less than six inches long so I'm getting on my paper cutter here and going just below six inches and I'm looking at well this is where the perforation is so I'm going to go ahead and move that over and I've changed my mind I'm going to just do that and what I'm going to do next is I want this to be equal amounts on both sides so I am going to go just past the three inch mark and trim this piece and I'm going to flip it around and I want it to be less than three inches so I'm going to go to the other side and trim that piece and now I have another page I can use in my junk journal so I'll just fold this in half and now that becomes another page so I've got these pages I've got this page here that I folded funky so those are some of my pages that I'm going to use on the inside, but we'll need to do something about this cover. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got some distressed ink. It is called chipped sapphire, and I'm just going to go around the edge and add a little bit of color to this white. I'm going to do the same with the dictionary page. Now I have to be very careful because this dictionary page is rather fragile, and I don't want it to rip on me. I have this little container, I've showed it in other videos in the past, but this is a container of words that I have either printed on my computer or stamped and then punched with a paper punch, and I keep this handy in case I need a little word to put onto something. I've even got some little scraps of paper here. So I've chosen the word inspire and then I have a punched blue shape that was left over from another project. I'm going to go around the edge of this with some distressed ink and do the same with the oval. I've got out my glue stick and what I'll do is I've got a scrap piece of paper here so that I can go right around the edge and I don't have to worry about it getting onto my work surface so now that's got some glue stick all the way around and we're going to cover up that rough spot on the cover and while I've got my little piece of paper here I'm going to use the glue stick again on the back side of my word and glue that to the oval. I've got some eyelash trim yarn and so what I'm going to do is wrap it three times or about around my fingers and trim that. Then I'll lay this on here. I'm going to take the Inspire, add a little bit of Elaine's Tacky Glue on here, and we're going to place it over the top of these fibers. I may need to put some more glue on the back side. I do. It wasn't quite wet enough, so I'm just going to add some glue on the other side of the fibers. 
I've got a few of these paper flowers here. So I'm going to grab a couple of those and add them to the cover as well. On my little embellished paper clip that I started, I'm going to use a couple of flowers and a little piece of this yarn. I have some tea tiny little self-adhesive rhinestones here. I've been trying to use them all up. We'll grab one of those and put it in the center of the flower and we'll do the same on the cover. So now I have my cover, an embellished paper clip, and my pages that I need to adhere to my cover. So I'm just going to line these all up and get them nice and neat and straight. And then I'm going to use a paper clip to hold it in place. And then I've made a little template. The idea is I took a piece of paper and measured the height of my journal and then just made holes an equal distance apart. So I'll place that in the center of my journal pages in the journal cover. I'm going to use the Tim Holtz uh, craft pick to make holes. So I'm just going to poke all the way through the watercolor cover and all the pages inside. So now it has holes all the way through. And then I had a piece of wax linen thread left over, but generally you want at least three lengths worth in order to sew your journal together. So I've got to start in the middle here. We're gonna to go to the outside. This is a pamphlet stitch. It's just three stitches or three holes. I'm gonna go from the outside to the inside. I'm hanging on to this tail so I don't pull it all the way through. Then I'm going to go back through the center to the outside again. From the outside, the bottom hole, back up, or is that top, top hole? And now I'm going to slip my needle under the first stitch up here. And I will pull my strings and make sure that I don't have any slack. And then I will tie it off. Like so. I do two square knots. And then I'll just cut off that excess. You can choose to embellish that string if you want. I'm going to leave it today. And then here is my embellished paper clip that I'll just set inside here for some decoration. So we've got the cover here and then we've got our guest check and some graph paper and an old piece of mulberry looking cardstock to journal in as well as the embellished paper clip. So these are great little gifts to give to someone. You can make these up pretty quickly, especially if you're using scraps to have something to give as a gift. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Check out the description box for the links to the other videos that Rachel and I have already done. And then, of course, make sure you come back to see the rest of them. We're doing one every day until December 12th, or, and the last one is on December 12th. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Every view, every like, every comment that you give is really helpful to me and I appreciate it. Share this video if you thought it was helpful and you thought others might like it as well. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a fabulous day. Bye.